I'm Ken Jobst with Inspirational Moments. Thanks for taking some time and joining to be with us today. Solomon's biblical collection of wise sayings, the book of Proverbs, follows a really interesting pattern. The book opens with a collection of wisdom that we should learn at home from our parents. Then it proceeds to a section of wisdom that we should be able to learn from our teachers as we grow up. And then finally, we come to the section where we learn the wisdom that we're going to learn in our community through our work. But in the last two chapters of the book of Proverbs, chapter 30 and 31, Solomon calls our attention to some wisdom that comes from beyond the Israelite tradition. Wisdom from Augur, son of Jacketh, and from King Lemuel, neither one of them members of any of the twelve tribes of Israel. Listen to this passage from Proverbs chapter 30, verses 7 through 9. You'll love this. Two things I ask of you, Lord. Do not refuse me before I die. Keep falsehood and lies far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches, but give me only my daily bread. Otherwise, I may have too much and disown you and say, Who is the Lord? Or I may become poor and steal and so dishonor the name of my God. Wow, that's a pretty wise prayer, this prayer of Augur. God, don't make me poor or rich. If I'm too poor, I might resort to stealing and dishonor your name. If I'm too rich, I might come to forget you and your grace and your love that you have shown me. So don't make me poor. Don't make me rich. Keep me in that wide in-between area of contentment with my daily bread. Jesus picks up on this theme of daily bread in the Lord's Prayer. And I think it very well could have been that he was quoting from this very passage. Now, the profound wisdom of Augur's prayer is one thing, but I want to really emphasize what I believe Solomon was telling us by including this prayer in Proverbs, and it's this. That profound wisdom can come from some very unexpected places. No single group has ever cornered the market on wisdom, and Solomon suggests that the wise seek wisdom, no matter where it appears, no matter its source. Butcher, baker, candlestick maker, anyone can be a source of wisdom. Where have you been surprised by wisdom? Have you ever met a well-disguised sage? Perhaps a young person with insight beyond their years. Recognize that all of God's creation has wisdom to offer us. So don't just seek it in one place, but follow the advice of Solomon. Seek it in the home, seek it in the school, seek it in your work, and seek it in places where you might not even be thinking that it would be found. From St. Stephen Church, this is Ken Jobst with Inspirational Moments. Keep on living inspirationally. God bless.